Santo tu Beautiful voice, musician Sting composed the theme song for a new show in Rome that's bringing history to life. The production uses special effects to transform how people experience Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel masterpiece. A director who's designed Olympic ceremonies created the show with the Vatican's permission, of course. Seth Doan, one of the lucky ones, got a ticket and takes us behind the scenes. He's in Rome near the Sistine Chapel. Seth, good morning. Take a look at this view of St. Peter's Basilica and behind it, the Sistine Chapel. About six million people visit the Sistine Chapel every year. And now just down the road at a theater, it is possible to see it in a way it has never been seen before. Lasers, lights, and a thunderous sound system. Add a distinctly modern dimension to a story that's roughly 500 years old. Michelangelo painting the Sistine Chapel. Images fill the theater. It's an immersive experience that even its creative director, Marco Balic, has a hard time describing. It's easier to say what is not. There is ballet, but it's not a ballet. There is a lot of beautiful music by John Metcalf and Sting, but it's not a musical. It's a very technological show. Balich treated Michelangelo as a sort of superhero, whose frescoes in digital form turn Rome's former symphony hall into a second Sistine Chapel. What did you think? Cosa ne pensi del spettacolo? Bellissimo, bellissimo. Usually we do a one-off. So we, it's a hitch, I go, ah, and it's finished, and it's gone. This, this time, it keeps going. I open up the, the, the door to the fake Sistine Chapel. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Those are the kind Balich of things let us peek usually, backstage uh, to uh, see how the show finishes. works. I don't know that I need to wear it. <laughs> what the cast wears, <laughs> uh, and how he took inspiration from spectacles the Catholic Church has staged. This is the coffin of John Paul II, which for, to me, which I love ceremonies, that was one of the best ceremony I ever done. Balich takes images that visitors strain to see in real life and expands and animates them. He pushed to create this production and got the blessing of the Vatican. The one skeptical Italian columnist wasn't so nice, calling all of the special effects visual Viagra. When you hear critics say this is just too much, it's all show. They told me every time they said, oh, but it's like Disney. And I said, but Disney, well, Disney is a genius. What's wrong with it? Marco told us he finds inspiration from, of all places, rides at theme parks, which he says are particularly immersive experiences for audiences. And he says he knows he's done a good job when he looks around an audience and doesn't see people on their cell phones. Nora. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's a good Can barometer. you capture the full attention of everyone? My yeah. favorite quote of the day. That is ballet, but <laughs> is not, not a ballet. ballet. Listen, I don't know Italian, but we do know bellissimo. <laughs> yes, I want to see it. Yeah. I'd like to see it. All right, Seth Doan, thank you as always.